good morning welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is a really really special one because i'm going dorm shopping today i know that this is very very late i'm actually moving in tomorrow but i haven't had the chance to go dorm shopping yet so today is going to be the big day where i buy everything that i need and also pack because i haven't started packing yet right now i'm going to go to la to go to this place called kim sejongki and that's where we get most of our home goods and i also need to buy blankets i believe so we're going to go there right now i'm also going to go to target later today and then pack up so today's very exciting so yeah let's head to la hello guys we have finally arrived at kim's home center which is kim zanonki we're gonna go in now and look for everything that we need hopefully we find everything and we get everything quickly because i'm feeling a little bit tired we're gonna eat after this so very exciting yeah <laughs> say hi are you filming yeah <laughs> guys i am in like a parking lot structure right now my mom's gonna go pick up her herbal medicine my shaved ice is already kind of devoured mm. but i have to tell you guys a crazy story of what happened just now so basically this place is i love boba it's in k-town and if you guys didn't know i used to live in la i was born in k-town and when i was a kid i really really loved boba so every sunday after church i would go to i love boba and get a lychee boba with lychee jelly and i went so so often that every time i went the workers knew my order so we had this really special bond but after I moved to OC, I stopped going because it was so far away and also because my church moved location. So now my church wasn't in K-Town. So it was like I really had no reason to come to K-Town. So yeah, like if you think about it, I started going when I was like in elementary school and I went until about middle school and then I stopped going. Actually, not even middle school. I think I went all of like my elementary years and then starting from middle school up, I stopped going as frequently and then at one point I just stopped going. But last time I came here in a really, really long time and I was hoping to see the two workers that I was really, really close with. One of them was a girl, the older one, and then one of them was at that time pretty young but when i went last time another worker was there and he told me that they actually both quit and they didn't work there anymore and it's been a while since they didn't work so i was really really upset but i went today because i happened to be in k-town to get like my stuff for my dorm i walked into the store and i saw someone sitting down and i was like huh and then he stood up so we both saw each other like at the same time and he was the guy worker he came to visit today like to see his boss and i happened to come to dorm shop in k-town today so it's like crazy and we saw each other and we were like talking and he was like oh my gosh you grew up so much i thought you were your sister and we were just like talking and sharing stuff and it was just so great i can't believe like what are the odds that we both come on the same day even though we stopped coming to the same bobo shop you know this thing honestly it's kind of hard to eat because Everything on the top is really sweet and the bottom is like ice, but then it's amazing. It's just so nostalgic. I always get the same ice cream, butter pecan. Mmm, that's my little story time. I don't know if you guys can even see me. It's so dark in here. But after my mom picks up her medicine, we're gonna go back to OC. Go to Daiso, probably Target. And then I need to go home and literally pack everything because it's currently 3 p.m. right now it's gonna probably take a couple more hours to drive to oc and then shop and then i only have tonight and then tomorrow i have to leave this is very crazy okay bye guys update you guys later what the heck this is not even everything Wow, dang, we are here. Why does it look like a desert? Whoa. 
Thank you so much. Are you kidding me? What? What's going on? Oh, so cute. Another flight. Okay, sorry guys for the really really late update but we have finally moved in. I couldn't really film the entire day because it was really hectic. I packed literally everything this morning. It took around like three to four hours I think. And then I came to UCI, we dropped off all the boxes and then we also had to check in first. We had to literally go from the parking lot all the way on the other side and walk with our stuff here. But I unpacked a little bit and then my family and I went to UTC which is a town center really close to UCI. We got some food together and now I'm here alone in the dorm because my friends are out doing stuff. Um, um, and I'm finally unpacking because as you guys can see, it is a mess right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna unpack real quick. I'm really tired already, but I'm very, very excited. And I can't really show you guys the rest of the room even though it's so, so cute because privacy. But I'll update you guys very soon. I think it's recording. Anyway, it says recording. <laughs> Hi, so that's all the footage I have, but I actually did end up getting the Polaroid to work and the pictures are very cute. Week zero was definitely an unforgettable memory and even though I had so much fun every day, I have to admit that I'm still getting used to college. This is just the start to a new chapter in my life and I'm so excited to capture these moments and share with you guys. Stay tuned for college vlogs and I'll see you all again soon.